Hey Capricorn, how's it going? Welcome to your universal message meeting. So here I will be discussing um, personal spiritual growth, love, career finances, advice, and giving you three cards on your soul's journey. It's um, lesson cards which are here. So I'll pull three cards. It's typically about what we may need to focus on, work on here, or what is focusing and reflecting within what's coming in through the cards okay so I just want to let you know that with the full moon in cancer on January 6th at 5 8 p.m. Central Standard Time there is your seventh house which speaks of partnerships and significant others around you is heavily focusing on you know, seeking harmony, even with yourself. So it's all about balance coming into balance, okay? So the effects of the full moon typically last anywhere from two weeks to 30 days. And being that this full moon is in Cancer, emotions may be running a little bit higher than normal, or you may come into contact with individuals where, you know, their heightened sense of emotions may be getting the best of them, whether they may be more emotional or angry or what have you, okay? So just remember that as we all go through this together, okay? I'm a Cancer, so I've been feeling it for the last couple days. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, please remember that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. If you find that this doesn't resonate, please check with your other placements. And if this does resonate, please, I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. I respond to all of my comments because I appreciate that everyone takes the time out of their busy day to make a comment. So I do that as well for you. And it helps me pick up the energy. Okay, let's see how many cards are here. One. Let's get two more. Let's see. These are new guys, so sorry. I'm going to do one more shuffle and then I'll pull two more. Okay, so the first card we have is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. We have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This is a very strong message, Capricorn. Very, very strong. So somebody could certainly be mourning the loss of someone, whether they be deceased or... You know, th there was a loss of a relationship, but I'm definitely getting that feeling that there's certainly loss here, okay? So, Spirit, please give me guidance. What does Capricorn need to know for their highest good, for personal and spiritual growth in this upcoming week? What is it that they need to know for their personal and spiritual growth, please, Spirit? What is it that they need to know for their personal and spiritual growth please and thank you eight of cups seven of cups three of swords yeah a lot of pain there so at the end I will pull advice from I'm using four decks um, a, one deck for each row, I mean each column, and then a deck to clarify. The advice will be the last card at the bottom of each of the decks, okay? Spirit, please give me guidance for Capricorn and love. What is it that they need to know for their highest good? What is it that they need to know for, the high, for their highest good, okay? Let's see. Okay, for love, we have Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and King of Wands. Wow. Okay. Capricorn. That is a divine. 
couple there. All right, let's see. What do we have for career and finances? What do we have for career and finances, please? What do we have for career and finances for Capricorn Spirit? What is it that they need to know for their highest good? Did something flip? Yep. Seven of Pentacles. Make sure I need nothing else flipped over. Because I take the ones that flip over. Okay. Let's keep going. Spirit, what do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good? Can I just see another card or am I losing my mind? It has been a long week. I've been, tr let's see. I'm telling you, I feel like, <laughs> like I, I saw, it's like, the, I, I could have sworn I saw the world card, but maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right, Capricorn Spirit, please give me guidance for their highest good. What do they need to know for career and finances for their highest good, please? And thank you. We have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Wands. All right. So I do feel like you know, Eight of Cups, we know, is walking away. There's a lot of pain and hurt here. Seven of Cups speaks of, you know, could be patterns, you know, um, overwhelming decisions to, to be made here. And the Three of Swords speaks of pain, right? Which is what I'm fearing, feeling is coming from this side and a lot of times these cards come into here some way shape or form so let's go ahead and clarify so i can start getting a clearer picture here okay spirit why is the eight of cups here for capricorn and personal and spiritual growth some of you may have had to have the courage to walk away from something in order to go through some type of transformation is what i'm getting for some of you why is the eight of cups here why is the Eight of Cups here for Capricorn Spirit, please? And thank you. Last shuffle. Four of Cups. Yeah, a lot of feelings going on. Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Cups here for Capricorn for personal and spiritual growth? Why is the Seven of Cap Seven of Cups? Capricorn. Seven of Cups. I told y'all it was a long week. Seven of Cap. I did it again. <sighs> I should have just gone to bed. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here spirit for Capricorn? Why? Okay. Page of Wands. Okay. So, again, with the Eight of Cups here, there is something you are really, there's a lot of sadness here with whatever this is, okay? It's like, whatever the situation is, it's not making, it's not making you happy. It's making you very sad. And you are being guided to let it go, release it, and it's time to start new okay some of you may actually be moving in location and traveling you know I spoke here about you know patterns and and stuff like this and some of you are needing to get rid of old habits which blocks your growth And it doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve your highest good here. And although saying goodbye can be hard, it's something that needs to be done. Okay? So with the Four of Cups, you know, it's always like Spirit, the Divine, God, whatever it is you believe in, is trying to give you the Ace of Cups, but you're focused on all these cups right here. Instead of looking at the one that the universe wants to bring you. So I feel like you are blocking... 
that ace of cups some of you are definitely feeling and having the sense of lack okay it's like you want more for yourself you need more for yourself and it's like there's like a lack of passion here it's like, you know, yes, this means boredom, but it's like, it's kind of like doing a routine, but, you know, there's nothing in it. It's just, you're in the motion of doing things. And only you know the answer as to, you know, it's like nobody really can answer that for you. You need to fill your own cup up here. Okay? So... The seven of the seven of cups, nine of cups, knight of cups. I mean, there is a lot of emotion going on here. A lot of water energy. So I definitely get the sense that this full moon's gonna rock might rock you a little bit, especially with the moon being in the eight of cups card. So the seven of cups again, we spoke of, you know, habits, patterns. Feeling overwhelmed with having to make maybe a lot of decisions, not knowing which one is the right choice. It's like not being able to see things clearly here. <sighs> Very overwhelming feeling. With the Nine of Cups, it's like some of you feel, and you know, I... I Felt this with the card the other day for the very first time. It's like, you know, these cups are filled not with wine, but with, you know, blood, sweat, tears, whatever. And it's like, you know, still trying to stay in strong, put a smile on your face here after all you've been through and the struggles and the overwhelming feelings. You know, it's it's also a lot about like, you know what, I made it through some tough shit. Like, I, I did it. You know, a lot of you felt like you weren't going to make it through whatever this was or, you know, there could have been repetitive things going on back to back to back. And it was like, I just need to breathe for a second, you know, um, and spirits saying that it's like I'm getting a sense that there's been so much disappointment and sadness around you, possibly even death. OK, that it has torn you down. And there's not much that you find in life that you enjoy anymore. And Spirit wants you to dream again. With the Knight of Cups, it's about dreaming again. It's about, um, you know, creating these dreams and visions for yourself for a new life, new experiences. Like, it's time to make your dreams a reality, okay? So, with the Three of Swords, you know, we speak of pain, right? We we talk about pain and hurt and Spirit saying it can't rain forever because you can see in there, in this picture, that it's gray, right? But after rain comes what? The sun and things dry up and, you know, get in better conditions, but it's also about like, you know, kind of like I'm getting the nine of cups like, hey, I did it. And then with the three of swords, it's like you're taking all those weaknesses, you know, that you've had and you've built up strength going through whatever it is you've gone through. But it's turning those negatives into positives. OK, and and these being lessons for you and they're not easy lessons. Right. With the Page of Wands, Spirit saying it's time to take action now. It's time to get excited. Nothing in life is meant to be monotonous here. Okay? So let's see here what we have going on for you in love. Why is the Six of Cups, you know, as soon as I see the Six of Cups, you know, most people automatically go to somebody from the past, which clearly it could be. It could be somebody from childhood. It could be you know, children, representative children. It could just also be the feeling of how you felt when you were a child, you know, but let's see what we get here. And we're in Mercury retrograde, so we know the past is coming out um, until January 18th. Spirit, why is the Six of Cups here 
for Capricorn. Why is the Six of Cups here for Capricorn? Please in love. Last shuffle. Why is the Six of Cups here in love? Five of Swords. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? You know, Spirit just had me look back over here. Nine is, is completion, okay? Like, this is coming to an end. There's brighter things coming in for you, okay? You need to continue to have faith, and you need to continue to, to keep learning from these lessons. The, take the things that you've learned to move forward, okay? Spirit, why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Last shuffle, why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Capricorn? The Hierophant. Why is it... Okay. I feel like I need to take them like that. So, I'm going to read them both ways. I'm going to read them both ways. All right. For Six of Cups and Five of Swords, okay, I, I'm getting a strong sense of somebody, like, protecting their family. You see this person looking at these kids here. And maybe, you know, these kids are now adults or something, okay? But for some of you, I'm feeling like there's a strong protection of children here. Hmm. That's not for everyone, but I am getting that that's certainly there based on looking at it. Um, you know, some people could... It could also be maybe somebody regrets hurting you. I didn't say to take them back. I just said that, you know, it certainly can be that somebody is having some type of regret. You know, with the Five of Swords, we speak of challenges. The clouds remind me of challenges here, okay? But it's also based on from your challenges, you've gained the wisdom and the strength from whatever it is, whatever challenges you've been through here. Okay? Okay. This is kind of deep. I really didn't want to go here. Some of you could have been abused as children, and I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And maybe either you feel like you need to protect your children. There's something with protecting and family here. Now, maybe you're wanting to protect, you know, someone, uh, protect your children from somebody who is, is very, um, maybe hostile, argumentative. Okay. Give me just a second. Okay, so with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles, for some of you, it's like someone values their Pentacles more than they value you. And the Hierophant is like traditional, so whatever they, this person believes is kind of like what they say, I guess, is law. There's way too many energies here. Like, I'm really starting to feel I need to turn these back over.
some of you, your partner as a child could have been abused physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually. There's something with a child or children here with abuse. I'm going to leave it at that. Only take what resonates here. It's like things looked pretty on the outside, but on the inside, it was not what people saw it to be. And I know people can look at these cards, look up the meaning, and get something completely different. That's fine. I'm telling you the energy that I'm getting with these cards because somebody needs to hear it. For some of you, maybe this person died and maybe you're having to walk away, maybe never having an apology or never, you know, <sighs> there was so much hurt and pain here. If you went through this, I am so sorry. For some of you, or if this resonates with you, You could have been abused as a child in the church or whatever religion. This is so dark. I'm so sorry. It's like your parents were so traditional in a way. It's like they were more married to the church than they were their family. And maybe you, if you have kids, you were very protective of them. But on the outside, everybody could see this was some type of beautiful family when really it wasn't. I was not expecting this. I've never gotten something like this before. All I'm going to say is if you think this is happening, you better go with your intuition. Because this is saying you're choosing to block something you truly feel. This is about blocking. This is like having to go spend time with family and just the feeling of dread. That it looks like this, but it's like this. Which is another block. Some of you may really be into terror so much that you're neglecting your own emotions here. Instead of going in with your intuition. And I know this is not going to make sense for everybody. And the only thing Spirit will tell me is that Everyone has free will when they come here. We're all given free will to make choices every single day. Again, this can be sexual abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse. Take it as it resonates. 
I do get a lot of it is surrounding some kind of church figure or tradition in the family of looking as if everything is perfect print you know picture perfect but on the inside it's so broken and so dark I need to leave that as that because I'm I can't it's getting too much <sighs> okay seven of pentacles career and finance Spirit, please give me guidance why Seven of Pentacles is here for Capricorn. Please give me guidance why Seven of Pentacles is here for Capricorn. Why is Seven of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Last shuffle. Give me just a second. I need to ground myself and sage. So can you give me just a second? I gotta pause this. Okay. Sorry about that. I just that was very heavy for me. Why is the five of swords here, spirit? Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Why is the five of swords here, here? for Capricorn? Seven of Cups. You had Seven of Cups over there. You have Death over here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Oh. Wow. Well, eight of Wands for the Eight of Wands for the Five of Cups. You know, the Seven of Pentacles speaks of looking at all the hard work you've put in, what has worked and what has not. This isn't just about the ending and a beginning of new, but it's like a rebirth here because you can see all these older individuals, adults, whatever, or deceased. You know, well, she may be alive, but she's not looking at death. This, this baby, this child is, because this child is pure. And children tend to look don't look at things that, you know, they look at things in a pure manner. They can't discern or know the difference. There is some type of transformation here. I do think you are trying to look at the big picture here. Five of Swords, you know, there's some kind of conflict here. You have Five of Swords here. I'm starting to feel like there's a storyline. Take it as it resonates. You have Seven of Cups here, Seven of Cups here. I think you've, okay, let me finish career first and then I'll go over. You know, you may have gotten multiple offers and you're trying to look at the big picture and figure out, you know, what's here. You're, you're discontent in here. Okay, there could be some arguments. Maybe somebody some is trying to sabotage you and you're trying, to, you know, you could even have a loss of a job here and trying to look at different options. But whatever this is, it speaks of quick, fast movement. Like it will leave you behind if you don't. And the Five of Cups is like having to feel the mourn and the loss and dealing with it. 
So I'm going to tell you for this that all resonates together. You're running from your emotions instead of dealing with them. And every once in a while they bore their ugly head. And you conflict with yourself about in self-sabotage going round and round and round. The same pattern instead of dealing with it and spirit saying it's time to deal with it. It is time to take action. You have the page of wands here. Yes, you survived. You got through this. But that doesn't mean you've gotten through the physical piece of this. But you have to deal with the emotions of it. Some of you have gotten in a really, really dark place. Let me get your advice here. Temperance. Balance, moderation, patience. Four of Cups. Maybe some people have offered you help and you have refused or to refuse to speak about it because it will bring you to a happier place by getting it off your chest. For some of you, I feel like you just want to tuck it away, whatever this is. Nine of Pentacles, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Look how much brighter life can be once whatever this is you deal with. I just feel like you're in a very dark place. The Chariot, it's time to come into balance. Or this card is going to flip over and it's going to be disastrous. You're hiding a lot of secrets here. You've certainly done a lot of self-reflection. Justice will be served. These are all major arcanas. Something beautiful will come in for you. You don't need to worry about taking care of Whatever this was, Spirit's going to take care of it. Okay? Five of Wands. That inner conflict is what I'm hearing. I mean, you are being spiritually guided here. The major arcanas in here are time to put the burden up. Time to put it up. Stop carrying the baggage. It's time to be honest with yourself. Stop cheating yourself of happiness. Some of you talk yourself out of things. It's like you're lying and cheating to yourself is what I heard. It's going to be slow progress. But any progress is progress and you've come so far already. That tenth cup is waiting for you right here it's right here for you you need to get emotionally balanced a lot of you are traveling I don't know what surrounding travel whether you're traveling back home or you're conflicted about going back home but you are looking at options here in this world here. 
you're at a, you're at a fork in the road. Okay? You can take this path or you can take this path. Which one are you going to take? The world is your oyster. You can be happy. You can also find somebody that's going to be happy with you. Who nurtures you and loves you. A lot of you have been scared to get into a relationship. Perhaps bring children into this world as a result of this abuse. Again, this is nurturing. You need to nurture yourself. You need to nurture yourself. Stop self is sabotaging. Look, stop repeating the pattern. You're repeating this. This is the third seven of cups. This is the third. Look up number angel number 555 and 777. There's messages there for you because you have three of these and three of these. It is time to move into calmer waters for you and stop the pattern here. Spirit is, and I know this is not for everybody. You may even know somebody that's going through this. You need to heal. You need to heal. Get out of your head. You are good enough. You are loved. You are loved. You didn't do anything wrong. Nobody should be abused. Let yourself loose and free. Ace of Pentacles. I know, I thought I saw that somewhere. Am I losing my mind? Maybe. It's time to invest in yourself. You need a solid relationship with yourself, but there's something solid coming in too. I talked about that Queen and King of Cups. I really feel like you need to nurture your divine masculine and feminine as well. With the nurture and love that you deserve. Look. We had the six, we had the six of swords over here. Moving to calmer waters. After, look, after this, <laughs> and then I've picked that up, I do think you're going to have your spiritual awakening here, you're going to have a new beginning, start new, look what's there, remember I said, nine cups, here's your tenth cup, your ten cups. <sighs> wow. I don't even know what to title this video. Capricorn. I love you. This was a very... This is the most emotional read I've ever had. I pray for you. Know that you're loved. You're worth it. Okay? Keep standing in your power. And I'll see you soon. Bye.